Hello one, I'll walk back to John Bill's iconic models. Okay, so we're finally, finally here. I've been building this Spitfire since uh, the 21st September 2019. Well, that's actually when I started the, uh, the test build. So for me, it feels like I've been actually been building this for forever. Like I say, it, it's not finished for everybody. A lot of people have been going on and completing this up to 120 issues where you get for the next 20 issues, you get a nice ground crew. But for me, I'm not really interested in that. So I'm kind of stopping from uh, issue 100, but we've had a lot of trouble since uh, issue 93. We got uh, obviously a note started appearing on all the uh, Spitfire groups, but people started posting these notes again from Hashit saying they'd identify some kind of problem and the advisors stopped building from 93. Well, actually, I was on issue 92 when I actually saw people posting this, so I actually never uh, attached my starboard wing. So I'm kind of lucky that because from this uh, correction sheet, we need to take off these uh, these wing panels again. So quite luckily, I never fitted my starboard one. So on today's video, I'm really just going to be concentrating on, on just finishing off the uh, Spitfire just mainly all the corrections that we need to work on. Like I say, I'm probably not going to uh, show all this uh, putting all this, uh, the panels on for the tail. I just really want to focus on the corrections and just get this built now, just get it completed. Like I say, I'd start to lose a little bit of interest. I actually, I didn't planned on filming the uh, this issue anymore, but a lot of people who have seen, been watching this for the last couple of years said, oh, I mean, please do a video. So I decided to actually uh, to do one. So like I say, so I'll just get this uh, replacement parts across today. And this is what we get. So we'll just get a, a list of placement parts it's a, around about two or three pages but mainly what we're really concentrating on is replacing the circuit board well actually a lot of people thought that and i did myself that actually it's the circuit board that we're going to be putting into this bit fire itself that we're going to be replacing but actually like i say it turns out it's going to be the circuit board that actually goes onto the uh onto the base so that's a little bit surprising and then mostly the rest of this correction page is all about replacing this uh, this gearbox for the nylon thread so that's mainly what this entire correction booklet is about and then there's a couple of little uh, little stickers and their suckers the washers for the suckers that we fitted as well need replacing but yeah it's a little bit disappointing that we're having to do this but i mean i know how many times if you go back and watch my videos where i'm doing live streams and i'm building this how many times i've said no we've not tested anything nothing's tested i said when i built this uh back in you know, a long time ago when we did issue 36 when we actually fitted this gearbox with this nylon thread i said that's not strong enough it's going to snap and like I say so it's nearly a year and a half later we've been proven right there obviously some of the parts we've been given are just not fit for purpose but don't off on too much so i'm going to start getting this stripped down and then we'll start working through these corrections okay so first we need to do is just just remove some of these panels that we fitted a long time ago like i say if you glue these down it's going to be a little bit difficult for people to glue them down i didn't actually just fit mine with blue tack so like i say it's uh all these little pre these things i did knowing that it's probably going to be an issue it's kind of coming back to where work in my favor okay so people remember they actually glued this wing tip down with some epoxy putty i actually put some epoxy putty right on the uh the little nipple and then we're just going to take out these two screws so i've got a couple of these little pots all i'm going to do is just pop the different screws for the different procedure into a pot and like i say all oh, that's really held on with a little bit of uh, epoxy putty but the good thing about that is it can be broke it can even though it holds a nice firm um, grip at the wing tip it can actually just be snapped off so i should be able to pull this forward and that comes off quite easy and all it's done is just snapped off inside that little hole so all i've got to do is just obviously do the same thing again and when i refit it okay so now we've got the wing tip off all we're going to do is just take off this next panel so again just using another little container One more up here. And actually, should have been one there, but I must have lost that. I'm not playing. So that's that one. 
in there already, already weeks. And I can tighten them back up. That's another panel off. And all I'm going to do is just take off the next side panel off the uh, starboard side. So now I need to remove the four screws from this interior support. And then we can just remove that. Pop that to one side, and then we just need to take off the cockpit. So I'm just going to remove this cable. Put that out. Okay, so I've removed the tape that was folding my uh, on the carriage back because I just taped mine up. So that now means the undercarriage is hanging down. So then I can just unscrew this one. Push that undercarriage back up and just pop that out. And then do the same on the other side. Carriage drops down, and then we can take off the next one. Now we'll just take out the four screws and then we'll get this gearbox out. And that gearbox should just slide out. And that's that. Okay, so I know a lot of people are concerned about I'm swapping this gearbox over. I think it's a lot of work. But as long as you've not glued on your, your wing tips with super glue or anything like that, you have obviously wing panels. <clears throat> and literally, it's taken 10 minutes to uh, get that gearbox out. Literally, about 10 screws. So it's, it's not a massive concern and I'd rather just have the uh, the metal wired obviously, uh, <coughs> strip rather than the uh, nylon one. Okay, so now I've got the gearbox out, we can now obviously go on to the replacement of fitting this different uh, metal cable. So literally, we're just going to get these four screws out. So this is a gearbox, so I'll put these screws in a different one. Okay, so that's the uh, panel off, and this is the, uh, the part we kind of need to remove. So I've got that out, it drops out, it's really, really fitting, quite loose. And it asks us to move this all right cog as well, so I've pulled them both of them parts out. And then in the uh, issue 100, these are the uh, the metal parts that we get today. So it's literally a like for like swap. It says it's a circle at the bottom, but with two uh, flat sides, so it can't go one way. So that just drops back over there. So I just need to drop the uh, metal cable in the middle. Get the top part. I've got the two little slots. Either side, and it's going to pinch it two holes at the top and just push that together. And I'll say that's designed where as it turns one way, it'll bring the uh, landing gears up. Okay, so now that part's fully assembled, we can now bring the two parts together for the bottom housing of the motor gear. It's got a little tab on this part, I've got to make sure that's facing up. You need to make sure that the two parts of the, uh, the cogs are in engaging. We drop that between the two slots. I'm just making sure that tab's facing up. So all we need to do now is just replace the top. We've got two little channels either side. They fit over the uh, of the nylon cable. Make sure it runs freely, and then we we'll just put the four screws back in. 
So now we've uh, swapped over the metal parts in the gearbox, we can bring this bit of fire back across and just easily reassemble it. You don't know how much room you've got, you always need more room. Pretty much all we're going to do exactly what I did before is put the, the cockpit out of the way, pull that cable out of the way. Same again, we've got the four little four little pins. What we're going to do, we've got four little pins, so we just need to reattach this gearbox to the hole facing away from us. That just drops back in there and all we do is just put the four little black screws back in okay so now the gearbox is back in we're just going to reattach this metal cable so all i'm going to do is put a little, little bend on it first and that'll just hook into that part nice then, then i'm just going to take the silver screws again this time just let the Spitfire hang down, and the landing legs hang down so that we can get in this silver screw. Okay, so that's nice and tight. And then I'm just going to drop it down again, drop it down again, do the same again. A little bend on it, just makes it easy to hook into the uh, landing leg. So that cable's engaged, just let the uh, landing leg go down again, making sure that it's going to pull that nice and tight. And then we can get the uh, screw back in. It's going to engage that metal cable. Let's see, we just don't want it to force it out. Put it under a bit of tension when you screw it in. It, sh it shouldn't push the cable out. Okay, so that's the, uh, the gearbox back in with the new metal cable. Okay, so it's pretty much time to reassemble everything that we've taken apart, but we actually get like another extension cable this time as a replacement. So it says reassemble and refit the gearbox assembly in AC in issues 36, 37. They said, but now we just fit a new length of electrical cable into the circuit board top of the motor. So all we do is this end of this extension it goes into the top of the motor. And then we'll just get this extension piece and put that into that original cable that was attached to the motor to start with. Let's attach that like that. Okay, so now at this stage where we've obviously swapped out all, all the uh, metal parts of the gearbox, we've put on this extension cable. So now all we've got to do is reassemble all the panels in the cockpit and everything that we've taken off just to get this. It literally takes five minutes, but I'll do that off camera. Okay, so I've refitted everything pretty much back to how it was in the issue 92. Like I say, I've got this starboard wing to uh, panel to fit. I've just noticed I've actually lost a little uh, a little green tail light which is a little bit disappointing but because things have been moving them back forward and back for, for months it's uh, I've had a little look for it but can't find it anywhere. A little bit disappointing. I'm not gonna buy a ten pound replacement just for that. I just have to live with it now. Well yeah same again. I'll probably make something a little bit later on I can just feed in from the front and just uh, some kind of clear tube and I'll just paint it some translucent green. But yeah I'm not buying paying ten pound for for that little part but yeah annoying. Okay so I'm just looking through the uh, the corrections part again so it says refit the ends of new cable which is we fit that new cable which is step one because as we finish that as we finish that last that last section then we turn over and then we have another 10 steps of corrections to do. So it says refit the combat assembly which is 72 which I've done that so now I'm going to move on to issue into a uh, step three so it's assembled this horizontal part of the tail plane so issue 97 so what we need to do now so what we really need to do now is actually just get all the new all the parts out again and pretty much carry on from 93 up to 97 and then we can come back to this corrections 
page again and work that way. Okay, so I'm pretty much going to end this video now. I'm going to leave this as, as like a standalone gearbox correction video. So I'm going to carry on working on the Spitfire now. So I'm going to move video out tomorrow and I'm pretty much going to complete and hit from obviously 93 all the way up to 100 work through the corrections get it on the on the stand get it tested and hopefully it's going to work nice so i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all again soon